Hi and uh, welcome back to fleetmusic.blogspot.com uh, This is the sixth video uh, in a series where I'm looking at uh, drum uh, synthesis uh, We're going to start uh, this video by looking at uh, synthesizing a simple tom sound um, Let's go with uh, tom1 And uh, so we're going to do as before. We we are just going to reuse just one one oscillator, I think. Turn the voices down to one anyway. Um, let's turn these other oscillators off for the moment. Uh, as before, we're going to bring the sustain right down. Keep the decay around three hundred. Um, I th might be an idea just to um, use operators additive synthesis capability so we can actually draw in maybe just experiment with drawing in um, uh, one or two extra harmonics into the sound so you can see in, now that our sine wave has been uh, or the description of it has changed so it's a user um, can use a defined waveform um, that's just like another kind of uh, sound design option um, let's maybe bring the envelope decay out a bit what we're going to do now is apply a bit of a pitch envelope let's bring it up to there and bring the decay to about 130-ish uh, we're going to bring the initial down to minus four, 48 semitones and bring the peak value up to 48 and leave it as so. So that's our basic tom sound. And obviously you can tweak um, the waveform. So that's our basic tom. Um, one thing to add is that obviously we're um, playing an, uh, a um, playing C three here. You might, let's say, you want to tune it up. Let's say we're going to tune it five semitones up. So we're going to tune. So we're going to be playing uh, an F. Um, or you might want to play. Let's say the F below. And as always, with percussive sounds, it's quite useful uh, to simply adjust the timer or the time variable. So there's our basic tom sound, and it might be a good idea to uh, send a bit of that to send A, to get a bit of uh, snap into it. bit to our reverb uh, which is on send C. Um, if you missed the previous videos I think I covered that in video two I think. Um, yeah let's produce um, a slightly higher tone. So let's go into chain select chain uh, view and duplicate that. Uh, we're then going to change uh, the actual note it's receiving up to B1 and we can change the to time 2 uh, and here's just a really simple uh, way in which we can uh, get a new tom so here's a much deeper much deeper uh, tom We've done that just by uh, bringing the transpose down. And that's going to move on to uh, a third, slightly more complex tom. Uh, so we're going to again drag in an instance of operator. 
there's a basic tone. We're going to uh, select uh, this algorithm, the penultimate one. Um, so starting with oscillator A, we're going to select fixed tuning um, and select uh, 154 hertz. We're then going to bring down sustain to minus infinite dB and then bring the decay to 150-ish. Uh, uh, B, we're going to have, um, we're going to select the noise looped waveform and bring up the level accordingly. Uh, we're going to right click on the shell of oscillator B and say copy envelope from oscillator A. And we are going to um, maybe, maybe change the core setting so it's playing the octave below C3, so it's actually playing C2. Presently, although obviously we can go over transpose and, and tune the overall pitch to our liking later on. Uh, now we have this pair of oscillators here where we have our kind of FM pair. So let's work out the bass tone. So we're just going to go to fixed. Um, we're going to uh, select a value of 85.7. We're going to um, select copy and from today. We are then going to uh, select oscillator D. Bring up the level. You can hear the FM kicking in, that kind of metallic, metallic sound, which obviously we don't really want. Uh, so we're going to we're going to moderate that. Uh, first off, we're going to copy our envelope through. We're then going to select a, a saw three wave so it's there's our saw three wave and we are going to tune this fixed uh, setting and uh, put in a low low value uh, so 43 uh, hertz but make the decay really short which is just going to make snap about there let's bring out the decay of, of what's to see a bit so we can hear the effect of D on the sound Feel free to experiment um, with the value of uh, the frequency value of oscillator D. I'm going to leave it there at the moment. One additional thing is that I'm going to, um, in the velocity parameter of oscillator D, I'm going to dial up a value, which is, means that the harder you hit your MIDI controller, the more of the greater the amplitude of oscillator D that's going to pass and modulate oscillator C. So it's just going to make the actual sound a bit uh, more responsive. We're now going to use a high pass filter just to take away that lower end of uh, the sound. We're then going to bring in the decay of what's to B. So we, you know, we what we're after is that the click rather than a more kind of snare um, kind of level of noise. So we've got a nice click. Again, um, the decay value of uh, oscillator B is similar to the decay value of oscillator D. Um, we're then going to um, look into, uh, we're going to dial in anything from about 50 to 100 percent on the pitch envelope and we are going to bring we're going to shorten the decay to about 100 ish and um, anywhere between about 100 or 300 I would suggest it is useful for us in this instance and uh, initial is going to be plus 48 and then peak is going to be uh, plus 25 ish. 
and obviously here the effect is having the sounds minus 22 for the same. Um, also, it might be a good opportunity to um, for once actually uh, play with the attack rather than leaving it at uh, zero as we have been doing uh, in all the other examples. I think we've got quite a nice tight, tight sound. Um, we can also, um, in the time proportional to velocity uh, uh, variable, we can dial in. Let's just put it up to 100 just so we hear it full effect. So we can hear. Variation um, according to the actual uh, velocity with which we're hitting our MIDI controller. Let's bring that down to a more reasonable value. What we want is just a bit of variety in, in the sound. Um, and now let's let's tune tune it. So um, let's take up to D or let's take up to F or something, or maybe the F above that. Obviously, as always, the time uh, variable here is your, is your friend, and uh, it's a good way of getting a kind of different, um, very different feel to the overall sound. That's quite tight and snarish, but obviously, the more you bring that out, let's bring the envelope, bring the envelope down a bit. So yeah, I think we're done. Um, that's the final um, sound that um, I'm looking at in this part um, of the series. Uh, next up, there's going to be a series of videos where I'll be looking at kind of more interesting, not more interesting, I mean, different, less typical sounds and uh, looking at synthesizing kind of, you know, I don't know what, looking at synthesizing your own percussion um, but not trying to particularly say this is a tom or this is a, a conga or so on and just being a bit more free and uh, looking at kind of potential interesting uh, kind of synthesis options. Uh, then after that, as I said in video one, we'll be looking at taking all these sounds we developed and actually building useful loops out of them. Uh, so that's the overall goal and uh, I hope you will check out all the other videos at uh, fleetmusic.blogspot.com and uh, join me for the next video. Okay, cheers.